Welcome, and here is your model for the formed elements for your cells that are found within your blood vessels, found within your blood, okay? We have three types of formed elements that are found within your blood. They are your red blood cells. They are called erythrocytes, erythro for red, sites for cells. So your red blood cells, erythrocytes. Then we have our platelets, our platelets. Platelets are going to be uh, also called thrombocytes. Thrombo because they're going to clot the blood. Thrombo means clotting in sites for cells. So thrombocytes, their function is to clot your blood. The erythrocytes function is to transport oxygen for you. And then we have our last type of formed element found within the blood, will be, which will be your white blood cells. And our white blood cells are known as leukocytes. Leuco means white, cytes mean for cells, so white blood cells. And we have five types of leukocytes, and I am going to present them to you from their most abundant in the blood to the least abundant. The most abundant white blood cell will be your neutrophils, your neutrophils, and this is a neutrophil here. This structure here is a neutrophil, and we have several on the model, a neutrophil. I know that it's a neutrophil because it has many lobes on the nucleus, so this is a five-lobed nucleus. This is a three-lobed nucleus, and this is a five-lobed nucleus found in our neutrophil. It is the most abundant. And then we have um, lymphocytes as the next um, abundant uh, that's present within our blood, and our lymphocytes are going to be uh, the cell, the white blood cell, where the nucleus takes up the entire cytoplasm of the cell. You can see there's only a ram around it. So here's a lymphocyte. Here's the second lymphocyte. And then this is also considered a lymphocyte as well. Um, I know it looks a little different from that one, but it is still considered a lymphocyte. It has a ram of the cytoplasm um, in the inside of that cell. So those are your lymphocytes. Then we have our monocytes. This is a monocyte. And I know that this is a monocyte because it has this kidney bean shaped nucleus. So this is a monocyte, and then we have that monocyte, and then this is our third monocyte. I know it's kind of distorted with the bean shaped nucleus shape here, but it is represented as a monocyte on this model. Then we have our isonophils. Isonophils are represented here. They are bilobed, and they have pink, orange, or red stained granules. So you can see that there's red, um, orange, pinky stained granules here. So that lets me know that that's an isonophil. Isono means pink, okay? And here's another isonophil, okay? So those are isonophils. And then our last and least abundant white blood cell will be our basophils. And it's only one on the model. Basal means blue, so you, you can see that it has blue stained granules here. So that's our basophil. So neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, isonophils, and basophils are the five types of white blood cells from their oh, most abundant type to their least abundant. So never let monkeys eat bananas. Never will be our neutrophils. Let lymphocytes, monkeys, monocytes eat isonophils bananas, basal fields. And those are your formed elements found within your blood. Thank you. Also, please learn the function of each one of the formed elements and also please learn the functions of each one of the leukocytes. Our neutrophils, our basophils, and our isonophils are a part of a group of white blood cells called granulocytes. They are called granulocytes because they have um, stained granules within their cytoplasm.
The last two types of our white blood cells are going to be a part of a group called A granulocytes. A granulocytes means without granules. So our lymphocytes and our basophils will not have granules within their cytoplasm. Thank you.